You're still watching Ways. Now, today is International Workers Day. May Day falls every year on the 1st of May. It is also known as International Workers Day or Labor Day. The day is dedicated across countries with great joy um, or celebrated across country with great, with great joy. It marks celebrations of laborers and the working class promoted by the international labor movement. So happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. <laughs> we are the forefront workers. I saw a yeah. video um, of the first ladies. All the first ladies clapping for yeah. all the health workers and the frontline workers. You know, I saw the video and yes, they were all clapping. But I'm like, how difficult is it to clap? It was very like, difficult for some was, people to clap. It was clap. like, <laughs> I saw it. Uh. <laughs> I'm like, come on, be happy. Imagine if your son won a scholarship or what's the best thing that can happen to your child? Absolutely. You know, imagine if your child was sick and then a doctor I just... I thought I was the only one that saw that. Clap from your heart. You know, heart. some of them were doing like this. The only person I saw that was sincere was about two or three of them was, I think it was Jigawa, the, the vice, Lagos State. Yes, yeah, the Lagos the State. Vice the wife of the, yes, yes. the wife of the Lagos State governor. Yes. The Lagos um, the vice president mm -hmm. of, uh, they did the clapping properly that you together. could see that the excitement mm. was there, you know, yeah. it was and really... And the first lady of Lagos State, uh, yes. like, I could feel her saying thank, thank you, you, thank, thank you, thank you. I, I think I saw Ekiti it. as well, Ekiti did so I well. Think Jigawa too. You know, but for the yeah. first time in history, we have our first ladies doing something like this. So we must commend them. We too. Thank Giving you. you clap. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, what did you find for us in the news? Sandra? All right, okay, so um, yesterday uh, um, when we had the NCDC uh, uh, update of uh, corona cases, new cases, we saw that Kano had overtaken Lagos. Lagos had about 45 new cases. Kano had skyrocketed to 80, so Kano was trending in the news. Now today, the governor of Kano State um, uh, uh, came out, yes, Ganduji, telling uh President Buhari that he should please, because Canada right now is on total lockdown, because mm. we all know, like, if, if, if Lagos has enough shock absorber to handle this, Kano, like... We don't even know. Let, let's not <laughs> even talk about it. Yeah. So, um, obviously, so because of that, the, the president put Kano on complete total lockdown. So he's telling the Mr. President to please reduce the lockdown because of the Ramadan and so... Um, um, to ease the hardship of getting food since it's the Ramadan season. But you know what? A lot of Nigerians are like, no way. If you're asking NNCDC for, uh, NCDC. N NCD NCDC for help, that uh, you should be willing to pay the, the, well, the price as well. Well, I am happy well. because I have been monitoring the NCDC, the Joint um, Task Force, their daily briefing. Mm -hmm. I just watched one before coming to the studio today. Yeah. And trust me, Excuse me, all eyes are on deck for Kano State. Mm -hmm. Everybody's, you know, they are there. They are making sure that I think they are going to, uh, if, they're not, if they've not opened the second, second testing center. So they are really, really monitoring that state closely. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that we called on the president, you know, and now he's actually responding and giving, you know, the yeah. attention that that state deserves. Yeah. Because that state needs to be, the, the numbers needs to be curbed. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, one of, because um, Twitter, everything happens on Twitter. <laughs> so a Twitter influencer said that government can uh, reduce the, the lockdown on, like, it can ease the lockdown on Lagos and Abuja and Ogun State. But when it comes to Kano, please lock it down well <laughs> and throw away the key. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm telling you. All right. So my story is quite interesting. Um, um, of course, Twitter, they don't mess it for you. No. Twitter, I love Twitterians. It's, it's raw. <laughs> they don't mess like it for breaking you. News, so the, um, the minister for state, I think he was the one talking and he was begging, or uh, was it the health minister now, begging that people should donate their buildings as isolation centers. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, trust Twitter, they, they took him, they tore him to pieces, you know. And <laughs> but what did they do wrong? And they t no, because what they're saying, and all of a sudden EFCC started trending. Right. They said that there are so many properties that have been seized by the EFCC. Mm -hmm. You know, I have seen a couple of them. All of, if you drive on Bordelon, you see it's Big Max yes. yeah, saying that this has been uh, taken by oh, Avcon yeah. and all of that, blah, blah, blah. That there are many spaces. Somebody even posted Desiani's um, um, property, alleged property that she owns, that this mm -hmm. one alone can house about 5,000 people alone. You understand? So um, that we, he should stop asking Nigerians to donate buildings, that they already seized properties that EFCC had confiscated over the years right. due to fraud and all of that. Why don't they just convert those 
um, properties to isolation centers that there will be enough beds there. I think it's a I, valid question. I completely I think agree. I totally agree. Now is not the time, you know, to start asking for more. We already have existing structures. Trust me, mm -hmm. there are a lot of structures on that border lawn, high rise buildings, no occupant, no, uh, no occupant. You see a for big mark, mark um, X there, and all of that. So let mm -hmm. them convert them and let us let us put them to good use at this time agree. where we need them. Uh, so I, I think that's where we're going to stop the <laughs> what's in the news because we're yeah. really running out a of time. A lot is going on in the news. I was going to toss in Ghana, uh, um, the lockdown Ghana and the updates uh, as of this evening. I think one of the ladies shared it on the group yeah. that the case has had increased to 1,000 cases yeah. after the lockdown. From, so we have to be careful. We are talking about that tomorrow. So All we'll right, be lovely. able to thrash that more. So we'll go on a quick break and our guests will join us. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.